See, oftentimes we like to read the Bible this way. We like to read the Old Testament and go, ooh, that's a neat story. Where am I in that story? Who can I be in that story? So we read the story of, of Moses' encounter with Pharaoh and him leading the, Isra- the uh, Israelites, the Hebrew people, out of oppression from the Egyptians. We go, oh, there I am. I can be Moses. That's who I am. And I'll go against the mean Pharaoh, and I'll take the stand when no one else is, and then I will get, deliver the message to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, hey, let my people go, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I will deliver that message. That's me. I'm Moses. And then we'll keep reading, and we'll get to David. We'll see David battling against Goliath and all those scared chicken Israelites over there on the hill. But not David. He's down there toe-to-toe with a giant. We read that story and go, look at there. There I am, me and my five smooth stones and a slingshot going against the Goliath, the giant that no one else is, everybody else is scared to do. That's me in life. I'm just going against giants, and, and God's going to just knock out the giants in my life because I'm David. And the smooth stones. Or we read the story of Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel has the courage to, to continue to worship God, even though the decree is if you do, you get thrown in a lion's den, and Daniel does it, and God shuts the mouth of the lions, and we read that story and go, that's me. I'm Daniel, and I'm in the lion's den, and, and I can, God can shut the mouths of lions when I get around, and that's the power I have, and, and, and I want to fetch you, I want to go to the zoo with you sometime, but it's like, hey, like this is, that's me. Like we, we tend to place ourselves as the hero of every story, but what we see when we read the Bible is the Bible that, that God is the hero, that Jesus is the hero. And as you read through the Bible, we are looking for attributes of God to apply into our life because the reality is we're not David. We are the scared Israelite on top of the hill. That's who we are. And we, we look for the truths about who God is and how we can seek to apply those in our lives. And that's what we see in chapter 10 or verse 10 of chapter 3. Is God saying to Joshua, listen. And Joshua saying to the people, listen. When you go against the Jebusites and the Hivites and all the ites, you're going to know I'm with you because of this moment that you're living by faith. 